When I first discovered and started using print on demand in my own Etsy shop, it was like the most incredible, miraculous discovery of all time for me because prior to that, I had been sponge painting designs onto tank tops and t-shirts and screen printing, which I hated doing. So when I first discovered it, this print on demand thing, I was elated to have a solution. Somebody that does the production, somebody that does the fulfillment for me so I could have more space to work on my business as opposed to in my business. But there was a little bit of a problem in terms of photos because I would create these designs, I would be able to get them up into my shop almost immediately after coming up with them because that's really how easy it is with print on demand. You can think of something, load it to the print on demand platform and then integrate it to your shop within minutes. But the photos, right? The mock-ups that these print on demand companies give you are not super incredible. They're just either plain product photos or very basic model pictures that don't do very much in terms of merchandising your photos. And if you know me, if you have watched any of my videos, you know that I am all about branding. I think it is so incredibly important in creating success in your Etsy shop and your listing photos matter. They matter so much to your success. So the listing photos thing when I would load a new print on demand product was always an issue because I would then have to order a sample of the item, get some models arranged for it and do a photo shoot or, you know, take it up against a wall in my own bedroom or it was kind of a mess and it took a really long time then to be able to go live with that product. So eventually I discovered a resource that I'm going to share with you within this video and go over how exactly to use it to create really amazing, lifelike, just incredibly merchandised photos that are actually going to get attention in your shop and help people to want to buy your item because it looks really high quality. It looks very special. I've seen a lot of sellers use print on demand and then they'll just include a mock-up of a photo that looks very static, very not real and sometimes it can look like there's just like a digital design laying on top of the t-shirt or sweatshirt or whatever and that is not the way to convince your buyer to buy your product if you are doing your listing photos that way please continue to watch because the resource that I'm about to show you actually integrates designs into what looks like the fabric of the a particular product so it's not looking like an actual mock-up and your customer will get a better sense of what the item will look like realistically once they buy it because customers are getting more savvy in terms of identifying a mock-up and being a little bit wary of purchasing that based on the mock-up photo because they don't know if when they receive the item it's actually going to look like what they're seeing in the listing photos so you have to be very cognizant of this and do whatever you can to create you know photos that are very realistic you know even if you're doing mock-ups like the resource I'm about to show you they should still look realistic of course if you can get product photos in real life if you love doing photo shoots if you have the time do it that's one of a, the, a great way to get product photos that set you apart from everybody else but being able to hook up with a mock-up site like I'm about to show you and get those mock-ups done at the same time you're listing the product and getting that created within minutes is an invaluable resource. So please stay tuned, watch the entirety of this video to learn exactly how to get mock-up photos that are realistic and most importantly, that sell very well based on my own experience and working with a lot of others who are using this in their Etsy shops as well. All right, so my favorite photo resource that I only recently discovered, honestly, and if I would have had this six years ago, it would have been really, really nice, would have saved me a lot of time. So I want you guys to at least go on this site and look around if you sell anything that they offer mock-ups for, mugs, iPhone cases, t-shirts, sweatshirts, MacBook covers, like all of these different things they are allowing you to create mock-ups for that look super realistic and amazing. It's called placeit.net. Now the subscription is $14 a month. They recently lowered it. It was 19 
and it basically opens you up to being able to use the entire site. There are so many resources within Placeit.net. It's crazy. It is beyond valuable and 14 bucks a month is nothing for how much you are getting. So these are the t-shirt mock-ups and they are the most realistic that I've been able to find. The designs look really realistic. I mean, they just look real. It looks like it's, it's actually integrated into the fabric, as I said, and it looks like the photo was taken specifically to model that shirt. So I'm going to give you an example of how this works. Keep in mind, not all their photos are perfect. Just because it's on Playsit.net does not mean you should be using it. You still want to find photos that fit your customer, that are well merchandised, that meaning they're they're dressed up really well, that they're going to emotionally connect with your target market. And they are going to jump out in search results. They should still be as special as possible. Just because you're finding a mock-up doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best choice for your particular shop and more importantly for your particular audience. So Etsy shoppers truly do the best with lifestyle photos. They like to see the product in use and they like to see it on, you know, uh, people similar to them or what they're into. You know, the more you can bring it to life in a way that connects with your buyer, the better you're gonna do. So let's use this girl as our example here. Super adorable little girl. If you sell kids t-shirts, this would be an amazing photo to use. So what it does is it's going to load this photo for us and we're gonna add our design to the t-shirt. I'm going to show you exactly how. So we've got this cute little girl. We're going to go to upload image. I'm going to find this design, which I should have done ahead of time. Here we go. That was easy. And then what it's going to do is it opens up this little grid. And this is where you can resize the image. It's a little bit tricky to get used to at first because there's no guidelines, but just envision this as, you know, a square on the front of the shirt. It's not representing the entire shirt, just the printing area. So typically I will just make the design the size that I want it, whether it's big or small, and then I'll kind of um, position it to where I think would make the most sense on the shirt, making sure the design stays within the guidelines. And then you hit crop and it will place it automatically onto the t-shirt after a second and you can see how it's going to look. So that's really cute. If the uh, the placement was off a little bit. You can go back to this little crop button and you could make it a little bit smaller. You could do it higher or lower, but it's kind of something that you have to eyeball because I said like there's no true guidelines for it. So on this particular shirt, this design would probably be about this size. And then once you've got the placement right, you can keep going back and forth. You can, you can select any from here. So if I had a black shirt with this particular print on it, we could choose that. If I had a pink shirt, we could choose that. You can also select a custom color by hitting more and then just going through here. Again, you've got to eyeball it if you have a specific color that you're really wanting. Uh, you just have to keep messing with this tool until you've got it exactly right. But then it'll save up in, in these little frequently used color areas, this last row. So you can keep applying it to different t-shirts. So the only area where this is a little bit tricky is when you're offering Heather colored uh, t-shirts like a heather gray where it has those little black speckles that's not really an option the grays look like more of a flat gray which you know is is hard if that heather color is pretty distinct so I tend to just use pictures for the whites the blacks the non heather colored t-shirts and then if there is heather options that I have how many times can I say heather then you can just put a mock-up from Printify or whatever print-on-demand supplier you're using of just the product photo as your listing photo. So once you've got that placed, uh, you know, you can make sure to come over to, if you're using Printify, uh, whatever supplier you're using, and then get your t-shirt all, all set in the same way, making sure the placement is the same that you have on the mock-up. This is something that I see frequently as 
a mistake that many sellers make, they will kind of be sloppy in their mock-up creations. So say you want to start with a t-shirt first. You want to know exactly where the placement is on the actual shirt from your print-on-demand supplier and then create the mock-up. We did it a little bit backwards. But when you're creating products, make them first, then do the mock-up so you can base the sizing and the placement on the t-shirt you've already created. So this is about what it looks like in Printify. I, I kind of eyeball how far down from the neckline it is and how big or small it is in terms of the seams of the t-shirt, the armpit seams. And then we come back here. This is for an adult t-shirt, so it's a little bit different. But we can see the if this was a kid if that was a kid's shirt we can see that this design would probably be a little bit too large in comparison for what is actually being printed so then you could just go back and adjust that to be a little bit smaller and reflect the actual item that the customer is getting i'd say that's one of the main issues with using mockups is discrepancies between what is actually being sent and what the customer is seeing you want the mockup to match the actual product being sent as closely as possible, please make sure it matches. So that's basically it. I'll show you an example on an adult as well. We'll go back to t-shirt mockups here and I'll show you the different ways to sort the mockups as well. So you can choose all your different products up at the top there if you're doing something different from t-shirts, which I guess I'll actually show you that too. So let's try Let's try an actual product product. So maybe let's try an iPhone case so you guys can see what that looks like. So when you're sorting through the types of photos that you need, you can choose whether you want a boy, a girl. Uh, you can even choose ethnicities, which I think is really awesome. With the t-shirts, you can choose like summer, winter, all these different categories. So these iPhone mockups actually aren't for iPhone cases. This is for if you are if you have an app or something. So we're not going to use that. But let's find where did mugs go? That would be a good example as well. There's so many different options that it's a little hard to find what we're looking for here. Phone cases. Okay, we won't do mugs. We'll we'll stick with phone cases then. I find that their phone case mock-ups are actually really good as well. I've used them and have sold quite a few phone cases. And so let's just click on this one. Keep in mind, humans sell better. When you have humans in your mock-up photos or your regular listing photos, if you're taking them yourself, if you can involve a human element, it doesn't even have to be a face. It can be somebody's hand. It can be them holding the product somehow. Just including a model in any way in your listing photo is going to pop out in search results, especially with something like a phone case where many people are using just a product photo. If you can involve a model, you're going to do much, much better. So let's use that same uh, unicorn design and place it on a phone. You'll see the process is exactly the same. We're going to place the design where we want it and it's going to populate that mockup. We can see we're getting a little bit cut off so we're going to go back and lower that design just a little bit. Like I said, you got to kind of keep adjusting this until you've got it exactly where you want. It's too far over so now we're going to scooch it to the other side just a tiny bit and there we go and then we're going to choose a background color since that blue is not cute with that design let's try black okay not black let's try white and not white for some reason my computer doesn't want to show you guys what the different colors <laughs> will look like of course uh, let's click out of there oh it's my internet connection there we go okay so let's try white one more time go back and replace that design. My internet's getting a little bit confused. There we go. So it's as easy as that. You just choose your, your color of the item on the right hand side and you place and uh, do the placement and sizing of your design on the left hand side. Like I said, always start first by placing the design in your print on demand platform and then create the mock-up based on that information. So that's it for Place It, you guys. I should say that they also have a bunch of other cool features that aren't even related to mock-ups, like designs. They do pre-made t-shirt designs that you can edit that I'm creating a whole other video on, so make sure you check that out. And you can do Instagram stories, a lot of different social media stuff. They've got 
everything, videos, things for gaming, all of that stuff. So that's something that you can explore on your own. But for now, we're just focusing on mock-up photos for your Etsy shops. Being able to create something this realistic is beyond valuable. I'm telling you, you guys, if you're on the fence about getting this for 14 bucks a month, please do it. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I've been using this website for a long time. And it's just so easy. And you can get a product up the same day. And it looks like you did a photo shoot with it. Oh, and I forgot to also mention, after you've got it placed the way you want, you just hit download. What that does is it down, downloads a really high resolution version of this photo to the download section here. And then you can click to download once it's done and save it to your computer. Then go to Etsy and upload it. That is it for placeit.net. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe. You can also join the Be A Wolf Biz Facebook group. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Please comment on this video as well if there's anything specifically that you're wondering about or that you would like to see me put a video out on. I would love to give you guys as much value as possible and help you along in your Etsy journeys. So let me know what you wanna hear and we'll see you next time. We'll see you later.